For decades, the Atlantic Ocean's fabled Bermuda Triangle has captured the human imagination with unexplained disappearances of ships, planes, and people. Some speculate that unknown and mysterious forces account for the unexplained disappearances, extraterrestrials, the lost continent of Atlantis, and other outrageous ideas. Some explanations are more grounded in science, but still, these mysteries remain. But for how long, we ask? 15 things you need to know about the Bermuda Triangle. Boat reappears. A ship from the Bermuda Triangle reappears 90 years later. It was 2015 when the headlines spread around the globe accompanied by a photo of a rusty boat floating off the coast of Cuba. The story, which claimed Cuban authorities had intercepted the ship which had somehow been floating around undetected for a century, was shared, reaching hundreds of thousands of people. The story claimed the ghost ship was the SS Cotopaxi, a real coal ship that went missing on November 29, 1925, while traveling from Charleston to Havana with 3,800 tons of coal and 32 passengers. The disappearance contributed to the enduring myth of the Bermuda Triangle. However, the ship had been, it turns out, hiding in plain sight the whole time. According to experts, Cotopaxi was off the coast of St. Augustine, Florida, and had been known for decades. The boat and its passengers didn't vanish into the thin air of the Bermuda Triangle. It had sent distress signals during a storm, which likely led to its sinking. But whatever reappeared near Cuba was not related to the Cotopaxi or the Bermuda Triangle. But that doesn't explain the other huge mysteries that surround the Devil's Triangle in the Northern Atlantic. Not on any map. The Bermuda Triangle is a mysterious part of the world. The region, also called Devil's Triangle, is somewhat loosely defined, but it's a popular shipping lane that also sees many ships and aircraft. So maybe the disappearance of 75 planes and hundreds of ships isn't even so unusual statistically. Nonetheless, the Bermuda Triangle persists in the popular imagination as an enigmatic location. Yet there's no real map of it since the US government goes out of its way to indicate it doesn't buy into the myths. In general, authorities believe that anything remotely strange can be blamed on the combined forces of nature and human fallibility. The area has been defined as having origins in Miami, San Juan and Puerto Rico and Bermuda. The total size of the region has varied based on who's been writing about it, from 500,000 to 1,500,000 square miles. Obviously, such a fluctuation in size would affect how many disasters you think happen there. Plus, authorities don't recognize the Bermuda Triangle as an official name and don't maintain an official file on the area. There are no official maps, and take it a step further, the Coast Guard collects and publishes accounts of incidents that refute these mysteries. Underwater Area 51 During the 1940s and 50s, the U.S. Navy's need for a deep water test facility became apparent. As a result of the extensive studies, they established the Atlantic Undersea Test and Evaluation Center to provide a deep water test and evaluation facility for making underwater acoustic measurements, testing sonar and providing accurate underwater surface and air tracking data on ships and weapons. Since then, it's been dubbed the Underwater Area 51. This base is strategically positioned in the middle of the Bahamas, aka the Bermuda Triangle. Conspiracy theorists claim there have been severe strange reports of UFO activity surrounding the base. Widely unsubstantiated reports include claims of aliens working with Navy personnel in their deep underwater base in one of the deepest trenches in the ocean. The most bizarre rumors include time travel experiments at that base as well. The location is situated right next to an area called the Tongue of the Ocean. This is a U-shaped trench with a flat bottom, measuring 20 miles by 150 miles. The complex is believed to include laboratories, workshops, and other advanced equipment and technologies used by the U.S. Navy's fleet. <laughs> SS El Faro SS El Faro was a United States cargo ship. She was lost at sea with her entire crew of 33 in 2015. After steaming into the eye wall of Hurricane Joaquin, El Faro departed Jacksonville, Florida, bound for San Juan, Puerto Rico, when then tropical storm Joaquin was several hundred miles to the east. Two days later, after the storm had become a Category 3 hurricane, the vessel likely encountered swells of 20 to 40 foot and winds over 92 miles per hour as she sailed near the storm's eye. 
the ship had taken on water and was listing 15 degrees. The last report from the captain, however, indicated that the crew had contained the flooding. But shortly after that, El Faro ceased all communications with the shore. The 40-year-old ship was declared missing and an extensive search operation was launched. Searchers recovered debris and a damaged lifeboat and spotted, but could not recover, an unidentifiable body. El Faro was declared sunk shortly after. The Navy sent a crew to conduct an underwater search for the vessel and found wreckage consistent with the cargo ship in an upright position and in one piece. The next day, the Navy announced a submersible had returned images that identified the wreck as the SS El Faro. <laughs> Deepest point in the ocean The Puerto Rico Trench is located on the boundary between the Caribbean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean. The Oceanic Trench is the deepest in the Atlantic. It's 497 miles long and has a maximum depth of 27,480 feet, or 5.2 miles. The exact point was identified using a state-of-the-art multi-beam sonar in 2018, and then directly visited and its depth was verified by the manned submersible. The Ocean Trench is a geologically complex site. The Caribbean and North American tectonic plates are scraping by each other making a huge transform fault that extends from the Puerto Rico Trench to the coast of Central America. The Caribbean plate is shifting east, while the North American plate is shifting west. In 2002 and 2003, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration conducted a major research study of the Puerto Rico Trench. Scientific studies have concluded that an earthquake occurring along this fault zone could generate a significant tsunami. In fact, the island of Puerto Rico, which lies immediately to the south of the fault line and the trench, suffered a destructive tsunami soon after the 1918 San Fermin earthquake. <laughs> cookie Cutter Sharks The cookie cutter shark is a parasite, meaning it feeds off larger animals without killing them, and they aren't remotely afraid of animals that are significantly bigger and deadlier. Several species, including bluefin tuna, Great white sharks, spinner dolphins, and even orca have been observed with one or more scars caused by these sharks. It uses its sharp, pointed upper teeth to latch on and its thick, strong, triangular lower teeth to scoop out a mouth-sized chunk of flesh. To feed, the shark uses its sectorial lips to suction itself on to prey. Once it's attached, the cookie cutter spins its body, using the row of serrated teeth on its lower jaw to remove a plug of flesh, leaving behind a crater-like wound. There's been one confirmed case where an individual bit a person. The person was an athlete, swimming a very long distance between islands in Hawaii, at night, surrounded by boats with lights that attracted prey. That swimmer was bitten on the calf, leaving a gruesome scar but otherwise not causing permanent damage. This species is small and lives much of its life in the deep water, therefore it's difficult to study. But it's been collected or observed in many places around the world most significantly in tropical waters like the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> the original Atlantis Many people think that the mythological city Atlantis was a real continent located off the Bahamas that had fallen victim to the notorious Bermuda Triangle. Supporters of this theory point to the discovery of what looks like man-made walls and streets found in this notorious mystery region. Another theory claims Atlantis was indeed fictional, but the story of its demise was inspired by an actual historical event around 5600 BC. At this point, who knows? Although it's generally considered to be a naturally occurring geological feature, some claim there are remains of an ancient road called Bimini Road. Is this the original Atlantis? The idea that the lost city Atlantis was an actual historical place and not just a legend invented by the Greek philosopher Plato didn't surface until the late 19th century. Plato describes Atlantis as an island nation located in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean populated by a noble and powerful race over 11,000 years ago. The people of this land possessed great wealth because of the natural resources found throughout their island. The island was a hub for trade and commerce. Could it be the civilization of the lost city of Atlantis here in the Bermuda Triangle? Flight 19 On December 5, 1945, five U.S. Navy torpedo bombers, known as Flight 19, took off from their Florida base on a routine training mission. But soon after, some of the pilots reported that their compasses weren't working and navigation was almost impossible as stormy weather rolled in. In one of the last radio messages received, one flight commander reported, Nothing seems right. We don't know where we are. 
and sure enough, within hours, all 14 airmen in these planes were lost, as were all 13 crew members of the flying boat that subsequently launched to search for Flight 19. The disappearance of these planes was the aviation event that cemented the curse of the Bermuda Triangle in the minds of many. An investigation found that it's got dark outside and the weather changed. The lieutenant navigated the planes to the wrong location. Plus, most of the pilots involved in the incident were trainees. And what about the planes? The aircraft were notorious for sinking in less than a minute when they were forced to make a sea landing. And once aircraft sink in a vast ocean, they're often never found. In the end, the lieutenant and the crew were not held responsible. Their compasses stopped working over the Bermuda Triangle and it spiraled out of control shortly after. <laughs> USS Cyclops in 1918, the USS Cyclops disappeared on a voyage between the West Indies to Baltimore. The last known message from the ship said simply, weather fair all well, but something went awry and no one from the ship was ever seen or heard again, vanishing without even an SOS. But at 550 feet long, how was it possible that the biggest ship in the US Navy vanished without a trace? Some believe the Bermuda Triangle curse is to blame. She'd been sailing successfully since 1910, traveling between the Baltic Sea, the Caribbean, and Mexico. But in 1917, Cyclops became a key naval asset, transporting troops and coal to fuel other ships all over the world. However, before it disappeared, the ship was given a new cargo, tons and tons of dense manganese ore used in steel making. But Cyclops never arrived in Baltimore, and no wreckage of the ship has ever been found. While some suggest that the combination of the overloaded condition, engine trouble, and bad weather may have conspired to sink Cyclops, the logbook showed the cargo ship was suffering from engine failure and was also not used to carrying such heavy loads. An extensive naval investigation concluded that many theories have been advanced, but none that satisfactorily account for her disappearance. <laughs> Electrofog this has to be one of the most bizarre tales of the infamous curse of the Bermuda Triangle. A pilot is believed to have encountered a rare yet completely natural phenomenon during a routine flight from the Bahamas to Florida. Only moments after taking off, the pilot and crew found themselves enveloped in a strange and powerful fog charged with electricity. An unexplainable tunnel of electrified clouds formed around them and apparently seemed to chase the plane. Strangely, at the same time, the plane suddenly traveled significantly further than was even possible according to the pilot's calculations. The plane had traveled 99 miles in under 3 minutes, which means it's been flying at 1800 miles per hour in a plane with a top speed of about 185 miles per hour. Impossible, to say the least. And other planes that disappeared into the Bermuda Triangle suffered similar conditions. So, did the electro fog create some sort of warp in time and space? Some experts think so. The ionized air of the highly electric atmosphere can apparently create phenomenal surges that in theory could propel the plane. And with the compass being unresponsive, the plane engulfed in fog, this pilot and his passengers were literally carried through an alleged time warp. <laughs> Bad Bubbles Could Big Bubbles be to blame for the Bermuda Triangle's curse? The explosive release of gases in Siberia trapped in the permafrost, known as methane hydrates, likely carved out enormous sinkholes in that region. But now, researchers are suggesting that these bad bubbles could be responsible for the disappearances of ships and aircraft in the Bermuda Triangle. Yet other scientists say it doesn't explain these disappearances because the Bermuda Triangle is a place that's never been proven to exist. But sailors have witnessed boiling seas in it. Could this natural methane phenomenon be responsible for this strange occurrence? The idea that methane released from the seafloor could sink ships holds some water, scientists say. Methane is normally solid under the crushing pressures of the deep sea, but chunks of the ice-like substance can break off and form gas bubbles that rise to the surface. And ships certainly could sink suddenly if the water beneath them turned to foam. Which these craters, measuring up hundreds of feet deep and just as wide, could be capable of doing but such large-scale methane releases have not been reported in recent history. <laughs> island in the Middle of Nowhere This mysterious island is off the tip of Cape Point in Buxton, North Carolina. It's one mile long and more than 400 feet wide. The problem is the island wasn't even here not long ago. 
Some theories suggest that hexagonal clouds that create 170 mile per hour wind bombs are to blame. Apparently, these bombs are powerful enough to flip over ships, cause planes to fall from the sky and create new beaches. And that's why the deep questions surrounding this area in the North Atlantic Ocean have only gotten deeper due to its sporadically appearing out of nowhere. But according to reports, the island has appeared because of a consistent weather pattern. A mild winter in the region combined with a rotating high-pressure weather system created the island, essentially a massive sandbar. And experts believe that if this pattern continues, the island could actually attach itself to the mainland. But don't assume this new island is all that safe to visit. Sharks up to 5 feet long and stingrays as large as the hood of a truck have been spotted prowling beneath the surface around the new beach. Because of the dangers, officials have warned people try not to get into it, either by walking or swimming across the strong current between the mainland and the island. Magnetic Mystery The magnetic field that surrounds and protects the Earth from harmful solar flares is shifting and it could explain the disappearances in the Bermuda Triangle. The magnetic makeup of the area causes compasses to go haywire. The seas reportedly cause compasses to point up to the true north rather than the magnetic north. We'll explain. It's been claimed that the Bermuda Triangle is one place on Earth at which a magnetic compass doesn't always work properly. The seas here reportedly lie above an imaginary line where true north and magnetic north are in perfect alignment. Astronomer Edmund Haley noted that this invisible line was slowly moving westward causing magnetic declination. Over much of the Earth's surface, compass needles point roughly north. However, because of the complex shape of the Earth's magnetic field, there are few places where a compass needle will point exactly north. So, if Halley's goofy magnet theory is correct, this explains how so many ships and planes vanish. The difference in direction may seem small, but the results can be catastrophic. So, this evidence suggests that lost boats and planes are due to human error and not taking into account the faulty compass readings. <laughs> Crystal Pyramids For years now, pilots and sailors have feared the Bermuda Triangle for good reason. After everything we've seen and heard about strange disappearances here, who wouldn't? But their fears may be justified after this unusual finding at the bottom of this treacherous region, a report of a huge crystal pyramid under the sea. Its age, origin, and purpose are completely unknown. And according to reports, it's almost 1,000 feet wide, and just as tall. The pyramid was apparently found at a depth of about 5,000 feet and was claimed to be three times bigger than the Great Pyramids of Egypt. They suspected the giants were made of crystal-like substances as well. Could it be responsible for swirling vortexes near the surface which could be sucking planes and ships downwards? Alien conspiracy theorists believe so. Others think that the Crystal Pyramid is connected to the disappearance of Atlantis and even the biblical story of Noah's Ark. But there's just one issue that believers fail to grasp. The scientists who discovered these formations don't even exist. However, scientists actually think there may be a rational explanation after the researchers found a series of craters on the seabed. And they believe these strange formations were created by bubbles of methane popping under the seabed. Rogue Waves Many tales have been told about the Bermuda Triangle, especially the mysterious vanishings. Some say aliens abducted the humans traveling through it. Others say the geomagnetic storms interrupted navigational systems causing planes and boats to vanish. But many people think there has to be more to the story, perhaps something a little more logical. New life has been breathed into one such theory that these vessels could have easily been overcome by giant and unexpected waves. They're called rogue waves. These waves are steep and tall, like walls of water, and they often hit unexpectedly. According to ocean experts, these conditions hold true in the Bermuda Triangle, where massive storms can come from all directions, like Mexico, the equator, and farther east in the Atlantic. According to the National Ocean and Atmospheric Administration, the waves are more than twice the size of surrounding waves, are very unpredictable, and often come unexpectedly from various directions. Occasionally, they can coincide at the right moment and create a rogue wave that can be over 100 feet high. But scientists throughout the years have pointed out that the risks of traveling through the Bermuda Triangle are no different than any other area in the ocean. Hopefully, after seeing these videos, you're able to make a level-headed decision as to whether you'll fly over or sail the dreaded Bermuda Triangle. Or just skip it altogether. Either way, chances are very good you have nothing to worry about. <laughs>